In this video, I want to show you how to simplify a very specific case of a rational expression. Here, you'll see that the numerator and the denominator are both binomials and they're being subtracted. But one additional piece is that the terms are in opposite order. So on top we have 3 minus x, and on bottom we have x minus 3. So you'll see this form present from time to time in larger rational expressions, but we need to be able to simplify it. Okay, so these binomials seem to be very similar to one another, but we can't just cancel them out outright. We have to do one step first. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to factor out a negative 1 from the numerator. When we do that, we're going to be dividing each term by negative 1. So the 3 becomes negative 3, and the negative x becomes positive x. My denominator stays the same. So if I go ahead and change the order of these two terms, inside the parentheses I have x minus 3. And on the bottom, well, x minus 3. So now you'll see that we can indeed cancel them out. So what we end up with is actually negative 1. Okay, well let's look at an example of what this could look like inside a larger structure. Okay, so let's say we have something like 8x minus 12x squared, and that's being divided by 15x minus 10. All right. Well, it looks like I can take greatest common factors out of the numerator and out of the denominator. So let's go ahead and do that from the numerator first. Looks like I can take a 4x out. And when I do that, I'm left with 2 minus 3x. Okay. In the denominator, it looks like I can take a 5 out. And when I do that, I'm left with 3x minus 2. Okay, and here we are in this situation where they're identical except backwards. They're being subtracted. They're both binomials. They have the same terms. It's just that one has the 2 first and then minus 3x, and the other has the 3x and then minus the 2. So what we're going to do is factor out a negative, which will change the sign of all of these things. So if I now switch the order, I actually factor out a negative 4x, and then I have my 3x minus 2, and on bottom, 5 times 3x minus 2. So of course, now they will cancel out. Okay, so a couple things though, because I want to ensure that I have equivalent expressions from this, when I cancel it down, uh, to essentially, well, we're going to say negative 4x over 5, but we do have one stipulation in the domain that x cannot equal, and it looks like because we canceled out 3x minus 2, okay, well, what makes 3x minus 2 equal to 0? Well, I'm going to add 2 to both sides, so 3x equals 2, and then when I divide by 3, looks like x, so in this case, x cannot be two-thirds, okay? So I have this simplified expression, which is an equivalent expression to my initial rational expression here. I have uh, factored it using the greatest common factor, and then I ended up canceling out these 3x minus 2 factors, but I have to take the 3x minus 2 into consideration for the domain. So x cannot be 2 thirds, but negative 4x over 5 is equivalent to this first one. So ultimately, what can I do here? Anytime I have an a minus x over x minus a, I can cancel these out and I'll just be left with negative 1.